which you bought from whoever uh, mm. supplied you with, mm -hmm. and then you use this particular uh, product uh, to, to their patient, give it to their patients. Mm. So we want to show whether you had this particular mm. uh, product or not, mm -hmm. or whether you're using stolen products. Yes. Maybe you're buying stolen medicine. Yeah. Or you are writing those medications, but you don't have them. You're mm. claiming for them mm -hmm. where you do not have. So that's what they are looking for. So mm. by just saying you are auditing people yes. and looking for that, what they do, they use a computer model mm. which will generate, you know, let's say in this area, let's say I'm seeing 25 patients. Mm. Somebody is seeing, a, or maybe uh, as a group, I've seen 20 to 30 patients. But somebody is seeing 40, 50 patients, then this computer will flicker mm. that practice. And then they might start thinking that maybe this doctor is using stolen medicines. Mm. That's why he's claiming too much, he's busy, or yes. he doesn't have this medication. But that's rubbish. Yes. Because they must have what we call a smoking gun. That doctor, they must. Maybe, maybe, one, even one case is enough to say, mm. look, our patient just came in here, mm. you have claimed yes. 20 tablets of uh, coke, yes. uh, but uh, you gave our patient Fanta, mm. you know, that type of thing. Yes. Then at least there they've got really one case is enough yes. to go and take this doctor up. Yes. You see? But by going to doctors because they are busy, mm. they are prescribing very good medications mm. and uh, or expensive medication, then you say, no, this person, I think something is wrong because the computer has flicked them as an outlier among the group. So they are excluding certain parameters. Yes. What about if the doctor is popular? Yes. What about the doctor has got skills? The doctor has got equipment. You know, which you can use more than other doctors. Yes. Uh, secondly, they will tell you that, oh, no, we need these uh, invoices for the last three years. Yes. That's a lot of money and uh, work for you to do. You need to buy, what, paper to make them copies, mm. cartridges, you know? Yes. And uh, accessing uh, them by uh, also. Uh, and also, sifting through, they might not say they need all the medication. They give you... Now you need to sift through, for example, 10,000 invoices for the past three years mm -hmm. to get each and every mess make copies. Mm -hmm. Then when you say, if, let's say you cooperate, mm -hmm. and then you say, I'll give you the invoices. They want the invoices for free. Which doesn't... Which is rubbish. I mean, yes, yes. the act itself, there's a section there which say, anybody who needs something in writing from a doctor, like lawyers, when they need something from a doctor, uh, insurances, they pay for that. Mm. But these people, because they are used to this vigilantism and kangaroo courts mm. and lawlessness, yes. you know, they are almost like the tax industry, yes, uh, these uh, medical aid uh, administrators. Mm. Because South Africa, you can do anything you want. You can be the law to yourself. Yes. You can be a gangster, you know. Mm. Like, uh, you can know, be the judge, jury, and execution. Yeah, the, 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 the drug lords mm. in, the, in the townships, wherever, yes. yeah. uh, like Westbury, and then, you know, you can do whatever you want there. So they are used to this lawlessness. Mm -hmm. So that's why they are, they are abusing this section 59. Mm. So what will happen is that you say, look, I've gone through this job, I waste, I, I did, I'm a doctor, mm -hmm. I wasted time doing this thing, you need to pay for me. Then they said they're not going to pay you for that. They want them for free. Mm. Then they will say, well, we're not going to pay you directly. Mm. You see? Uh, patients might either pay cash and claim, but most yes. of the black patients don't have cash and health. Yes. They're not like white patients. Yes. So that might affect you as a doctor because patients might stop coming to you mm. because they cannot pay cash, cash and claim. Yes. Because we have this good system where uh, the medical aid was paying you directly. You know, yes. the patient was yes. away from the travels. Mm. So most of the practice can end up going down, especially that particular medical aid mm. or administrators yes. who doesn't pay you 
is a larger percentage of your practice. Mm. So, as practitioners, what we are saying, anybody who's defrauding medical aids abuse, mm. they must be dealt with proper. They must be arrested. Yes. But you can't go on a Saturday afternoon yes. fishing spray. Yes. You know, because your computer has flickered somewhat mm. and looking for problems. If you want to go on a fishing spree, there is the Val River. Yes, and they can, you can fish. buy your fishing equipment and go there in that time. Not, not, not to do that, you know, mm -hmm. on, 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 on doctors. Yes. And uh, now you are not being paid because you are refusing to give them these invoices. But most of the people end up ca capitulate yes. because they are struggling. Yes. Then they check this in the say they do an audit which is secret, don't tell how they did it. Mm -hmm. If you say you want to do your own audit to compare with theirs, they say it's unacceptable. Mm. Eventually they give a thumbs up figure that you owe us one million. Yes. You see? Yeah. But then they say no, it's negotiable. Mm. I mean that's that daylight robbery and criminality. Yes. If it's one million, it's one million, that's it. You can't negotiate. You can't you can't play with members' money by way and negotiate with criminals mm. that you know uh, let's settle for five hundred thousand. So probably the, th the one million is a thumb sack figure. They will stop at where exactly the situation is. Mm. Sometimes they will tell you, no, no, uh, look, uh, actually you are owing us, uh, uh, if we go further, you will owe us two million. Mm. We just went there, we don't want to go through everything just to feel for you. Yes. That's incorrect. You, you, there's no time to feel for criminals. Yes. Or you people are defrauding. You must be hard. Yes. They must pay. Even if it was possible, even the interest mm. of that money they've been getting. Mm. So now uh, this section fifty nine, there is an inquiry where people are, you know, submitting, you know, uh, uh, their inputs yes. in order to change it. The Council for Medical Aid Schemes is supposed to regulate this medical scheme, mm. but they are not doing that. I mean, they are, uh, you know, representatives there met with the Minister of Health and some doctors where he said uh, the Act is, cannot help him, doesn't empower him to control uh, uh, medical aid. Yes. I mean the Minister too, you know you are talking rubbish. Yeah. You mean we've wasted time writing this Act? Yes. I don't know how that representative mm. interpreted the Act. I mean really it was an embarrassment. Yes. You know, and all these inquiries and uh, this uh, investing, they are unnecessary. Yes. He must just act. Yes. So now people have got the perception that no, that Council for Medical Scheme has been captured by medical aids. Yes. You know, there's no proof, but people eventually with, you know, with their deeds, yes. there will be certain uh, uh, ideas which will be formulated against you. Yes. So from our legal, you know, opinion which you got, mm -hmm. this matter should have been sorted out by the council. Yes. You didn't need an inquiry or doctors going to march at Discovery Health, uh, you know, uh, yes. uh, having this uh, insulting uh, plug yes. with a pic yes. of Mr. I think is the chief executive office, yes. who is a Jew. I mean, you know, being neglected. Yes. While you are a pig, I mean, this is an insult to, uh, I think, this culture. Mm. And uh, I think it's just what people were very angry. But it's just an unfortunate thing. But what we are saying is that uh, let the, uh, what you call, this section 59 be dealt with and be changed so that medical leads can use it, you know, properly. And then we'll support them. Mm -hmm. Even our members will cancel them. And now and then, road, 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 road shows mm -hmm. to tell them what is abuse, what is waste, what is fraud, yes. so that they must get out of that thing. Because you know, if you are doing all these things, uh, members end up paying more premiums, yes. and medical aid gets more. is not affordable. Mm -hmm. As you remember, there are only, according to stats, South Africa, yes. nine point nine percent of blacks yes. are on medical aid. While whites are 71.2. Mm. I mean, this is absolutely nonsense. So I think this call for national health insurance. Yes. So we'll never catch up with the whites. Yes. I mean, 71.7. We're still at 9.9. .9 yes. And we're the majority. So yeah. it's 25 years. 
we are using the public sector. They say the public sector is, is, is you know, it's about to collapse and yes. all these things. Mm -hmm. It's saving you. Only your 9.9% .9 of people are enjoying the benefits of private health. Yes. So let's push for national health insurance. Yes. That money which the medical needs are collecting, I think it's 160 billion. Yes. Let it come to the pot. To contribute. Yes, let's use it for everybody. Mm -hmm. And then let the money which government is paying for their member. Government is paying private medical aid, like yes. GEMS, yes. Bonitas, what have you. Yes. I think that money they say is about 40 billion. 40 billion. Them. Let's take it also there and bring it together. Mm -hmm. Get a very representative you know, committee yes. with experts, not government only, all over, mm -hmm. will run this funding model mm -hmm. and make sure that nobody is going to rob the system or commit fraud. Mm -hmm. Then we'll, we'll give our people affordable, health. quality health care, yes. regardless of your socioeconomic position mm -hmm. or whether you stay in a, you know, you are a, a, a man who stay in the streets. Yes. You can go to a private hospital when you sit next to you. Mm -hmm. If it were on seat and get help. Yes. You don't have to say, I don't have money, then I must go to government hospital, I must die. Yes. So in South Africa, if you've got money, your death can be prolonged. Yes. So if you don't have, it it's can a, be immediate yeah. because the public sector is over stretched, you know. Mm -hmm. But people will tell, no, this national health insurance. Uh, will not work, where is government going to get the money? But if they give me that national health insurance, my, me, I'll show them how, 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 to, how to do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They can go and get their accountants, mm -hmm. actuaries with big figures and graphs. Yes. I don't need those things. You need practical. I've been there in health. Yes. I can let them give it to me, I'll show them. Okay. Okay. So, sir, we, we as students have uh, generally a problem that Let's say I'm good academically and then I have a problem practically with some forms of health. What other modern tools as an upcoming doctor can a person use to balance practicality and the theory part of medicine? Yeah. First of all, when you are still at the university, don't, uh, when there are clinicals and so on, yeah. you must make sure you are there. Yes. Don't bank classes and clinicals. Mm. And uh, number two, when you are old, yes. go to the hospital, go learn, you know, you'll get doctors working overtime mm -hmm. in the evening, look at cases, empower yourself while you're still there. And then when you come out, uh, also, you need to join general clubs, yes. you need to join societies, pediatry, yes. ophthalmology, surgery, all, there are many societies. Yes. Join those, you know, subscribe to them, mm -hmm. attend meetings, mm -hmm. learn new things, you see. Yes. Because what you have learned 10 years ago might not apply now. Yes. And it's changing. It's changing, you need to yes. keep up. So mm -hmm. the other thing is to, uh, uh, you know, learning a thing in a classroom, like a seminar or anything. Mm -hmm. Of course it's effective, but most of the things you'll forget them after a week or so. Yes. But if you are learning daily, we've got a WhatsApp group. Called, uh, uh, you know, Souls Blue Monday Corner and so on, mm -hmm. where every day we've got different cases. We can have a pediatric on Monday, Tuesday is internal medicine, yes. Wednesday is uh, gynecology, yes. and then uh, 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 Thursday mm. is dermatology and so on, and Friday is psychiatry. Yes. You know? mm -hmm. So we get practical, you know, cases yes. where we put them on the WhatsApp group for doctors yes. to, 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 to try these cases and so on. Yes. So how does one access this special group of yours? You need to be a qualified doctor there. Yes. And then uh, if you are interested, we take your uh, cell phone number, we yes. put you on the WhatsApp group. Oh. Then you'll go get all the cases. Oh. So the cases are put in, you know, in the before 12 o'clock. Yes. People work on them and later on, the person who has posted the question yes. and then we'll give them the answers and so on. So they've learned. So that's daily learning yes. and it, which is practical as interactive and interesting mm -hmm. because most of the WhatsApp groups are there for videos and yes. you know uh, tabloid information and so on. Mm 
but at least if you are having those intertwine with uh, learning, you know, the whole WhatsApp platform of your group become very, very interesting. Yes. And then uh, things which you are taking for granted that you know, you mm -hmm. find that when they ask them, mm -hmm. you realize that you, don't you know very much. little about that. And that helps us a lot. Mm -hmm. So I'm the one of the teachers there at the WhatsApp group. I'm the one who you know, mm -hmm. prepare the questions. It's a lot of time. You need two hours mm -hmm. uh, the previous night to prepare, to prepare a case for the doctors. Yes. And we have got uh, people like Dr. Zazim Kize. He's a dermatologist on other groups. Uh, you know, he posts a lot. Although, the people think dermatology is, is, is very difficult. Mm -hmm. He gives us very hard cases. Mm -hmm. And you get psychiatrists like Dr. Chan Chawalala sometimes. Yes. They do, you know, uh, give us uh, uh, what you call questions about psychiatry because psychiatrists have been ignored mm -hmm. by uh, 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 family doctors. Yes. And psychiatry is very important. There are many psychiatric issues, so we need to be up to speed with, them. Speed with that and know what is happening. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, suicide in the medical industry has been mm -hmm. in our profession has been there, mm -hmm. and then we need to be uh, uh, more proactive. And then you get doctors on the WhatsApp groups yes. who participate a lot. I think mm -hmm. uh, uh, Dr. Peter, Dr. Sello. Yes. For Dr. Martha and uh, Mushele Edi yes. uh, and many others, yes. you know, do participate on those WhatsApp groups and yes. answer questions, mm -hmm. especially Dr. Peter. Yes. He's, uh, you know, he's a very hardworking man and he seems to, you know, work out these answers and yes. uh, get, get the correct uh, get the correct answers the other person is, is dr he's a dermatologist yes he answers you know other like urology psychiatry yes, yes. and he gets these things you know correct. so it broadens so you school. get surprised how can a specialist mm -hmm. in dermatology know other things we expected him to only limit it to mm -hmm. so it's, a, it's, a, it's very very interesting yes. and then all the new doctors which we get mm -hmm. will be trying to you know, recruit them into these uh, WhatsApp groups yes. so that they can be part of it and start very early mm -hmm. to know that knowledge is never congenital yes. but it's acquired. Mm -hmm. yes, so I was asked a random question by someone. They asked, how do doctors help with uh, acquiring the road accident fund claims? Okay, road accident fund claim in South Africa is uh, paid by the petrol levy. Mm -hmm. uh, if you get knocked by a car or get injured inside the car or whatever, mm -hmm. depending on the types of injuries, if you've got minor injuries, they can be a, the doctors will check you. Of course, you might claim for your own, you know, rights, but sometimes minor injuries they won't pay for that. But major injuries, uh, the doctor will fill in a certain form where they uh, write in details what mm -hmm. has happened. Mm -hmm and then to confirm actually you've been injured in an accident through a case number and so on. Mm -hmm. So that they mustn't fill forms for wrong people mm -hmm. and then later being accused of uh, fraud, you know. Mm -hmm. And then uh, then you can submit those forms to the rape accident fund offices mm -hmm. where they will further assist you, you know, mm -hmm. with other, uh, you know, administrative work and then send your claim, I'm sure they've got their own doctors, assessors, mm -hmm. will look at the injuries and use their own knowledge of tables of say, if you are cut, yes. your hand is cut, you know, you can be paid so much. Mm -hmm. So to, as doctors, yes, we'll help the people they come to us with the necessary information. We fill in the form, mm -hmm. they go there, and then all of them might claim directly. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, through the accident fund or they can get an attorney mm -hmm. who will assist them you know in uh, 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 making a claim mm -hmm. of course the attorney will have to take uh, you know the fees and so on yeah. but uh, sometimes maybe you know if you get professional advice like attorney mm -hmm. your case of claiming might be more better mm -hmm. than on your own although I mean the road accident fund lawyers and doctors are good also mm -hmm. in giving people the right information 
who are claiming uh, directly. Yes. Okay, no, uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Soli, for the very informative and highly detailed uh, answers of the very extensive questions we asked. Uh, we hope to have you soon, once I'm back in the country again. And thank you for all your knowledge. Oh, thank you very much, Bongani, Matsepo, and uh, Macheta for assisting you during this interview. Okay, Looking you. forward to the next one. Thank you.